my beautiful YouTube friends. This is Letty with Living Life with Letty. And in this video, I want to share with you the three or even four big mistakes I made when I bought my van. Uh, when I bought my van, I wasn't thinking right. So that's what my topic is going to be today. So hopefully you won't make the same mistakes I did. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, share, and like and I hope that you will stay and join me so in case you are in the market to buy a van or even an RV or a camper or anything um, pay attention to the things that I'm going to tell you because I wish I would have paid attention myself so let's begin when I bought my van, I was so excited. I was so excited that I was going to have a van that all I thought was, I'm going to have a van and I'm going to go traveling. That's all I thought. And I wanted a van that was small. I wanted a van that had a little high top. I wanted a van that was very economical on gas. And that was really all my requirements. That's all I was looking for, a small van that was cheap on gas and had a, a little bit of a high top so that I didn't have to scrunch so much. So I called a couple of dealers and they didn't, I, I did, I, I test drove an NV, a little NV, um, uh, two, I don't know what they're called, it's a Nissan NV, the little ones, and I didn't like it, I, I wasn't very happy with it. And so I was looking for either a Transit Connect or something like that. And the Transit Connect only makes the high top, they only made it in 2010, 11, 12, and 13. 13 was this last year. And so I was calling around to all the dealers because I didn't want to have to drive to every dealer. And I happened to call a dealer, a big four dealer in near where I live. And the lady said, oh yeah, we just got a, a 2013 Transit Connect that just came in from Dallas. It's still on the truck if you want to come look at it. Well, I went over there faster than a bullet and I saw it and it was beautiful and it was black and it had been very well taken care of. It didn't even have a scratch. And then she showed me the car facts. I didn't even know about car facts because I hadn't bought a car from a dealer in a long time. And she said, yeah, this is the car facts, which whenever they have a maintenance done, it's reported to this database and whatever. And so I noticed that the car had been very, very well maintained. And so, and it was a, a little Ford Transit Connect, which does on the highway about 30 miles per gallon. So it had all my requirements. It had a high top, it was small, and it was cheap on gas. So I thought, hmm, this is it. Well, no, I didn't check it. I didn't check it very well. First of all, it's black. So black absorbs heat. So I'm in trouble there in the summer. It's gonna be hot in that little van. Not to mention that none of the windows in the cargo area where I'm going to be hanging out and sleeping, roll down. There is no ventilation at all in that van. The only windows that roll down are the passenger and the driver. Then, <laughs> so that's two things. Uh, the third thing, oh my goodness, one of the doors, one of the sliding doors in the back where I would get in and out does not open from the inside. I'm going to have to probably get that fixed, and had I known, had I in checked it before I left the dealership, they probably would have fixed it because it's a very big dealership. They have a humongous uh, maintenance area, mechanics, and all kinds of things, and I know, you know, they probably didn't want to lose the sale, so they probably would have fixed whatever's wrong with that door. Now I have to go and pay somebody to fix it because I do want to have both doors ready for me to get in and out of. Um... So that is another very inconvenient thing that now it's going to cost me money. And then the biggest thing that I didn't know about is the roof of the Transit Connects is undulated. It has like waves. It's, it's all waves. So it's not flat. So when I went to get my Max Air fan installed, I was discouraged by an RV place one RV place okay so I shouldn't say everybody maybe this guy just didn't want to deal with because it's going to be a lot of extra work to cut it and then fill in all the valleys and uh, make sure that it's done right so that when it rains I don't have leaks 
because that would be terrible that I'm sleeping and then all of a sudden it's raining inside my van. So that was the biggest thing that I should have thought about because when I'm going to be in that back of the van, there's not going to be any ventilation at all unless I'm in a place where I feel comfortable enough to open the back doors or to open the side doors. Yeah, so that's what happens when you buy out of emotion, when you buy out of being so excited and I didn't real I didn't do my research and I didn't realize what I should have been looking for. And another thing that I should have been looking for is the seats are not mechanical. They, you got to yank them and pull them back and forth. And I'm not that strong. And I have a hard time doing that. And I would like to be able to do it so that I can pull them forward and have a little more room in the cargo area to get in and out and stuff. And so it, it is a little difficult for me to do it. I can do it but, it, but it's hard. So that's another thing that I should have looked at. So there are many things that I should have looked at and I didn't, like I said, because I was so excited that I was going to have a van that I didn't care. I just knew that it was small and it was cheap on gas and that's all I really cared about. And now it's like, okay, I'm going to definitely have to get an extraction fan. I have to, or I'm going to roast in the back of that van like a chicken. I'm going to be a roasted chicken if I don't do something about it when it gets warm. Or the other, or the other option is just to head for the hills, stay up in the mountains where it's cool, and um, and just stay up there until the time comes that I can get solar and I can get the air, the max or the max air fan or fantastic fan or whichever one, and uh, and I could get more things to cause some uh, ventilation and some airflow in the back of that van. So um, uh, that's why I wanted to do this video because yesterday it was in the 80s here where I live and I was working in the back of the van getting little things put together and I was hot. I had to open all of my, my doors, the back doors, the side doors, and then, and then it, it started to be okay. But I don't know, it, wherever I go, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do that. And so I'm not, you know, the only thing I can think of for now until I can afford to get solar and to get the fan is to burn gas and burn my air conditioner and run my car uh, when it becomes intolerable because I don't know what else I can do. That would be my only other option right now. Um, but I am going to head up to and follow the weather, stay where the weather is mild so that I don't have to worry about it this summer and then... Um, you know, start saving some money to get the fan, at least the fan. That's my biggest uh, priority right now. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope I have helped you in any, in some way. If you're going to buy a van, make a list of all your requirements, make a list of everything you need and make sure that the van either is going to have what you need, or if it doesn't have what you need, that it'll be feasible and budget wise to have it done because when I called I called a place to see how much it would cost to have my doors slide or my windows go down on the on the side doors the slider doors and it was like a couple of grand which you know I can't afford that so that and, and besides the van's not worth it it's a 2013 van I'm not going to stick thousands of dollars into it so you know make a list and make sure that you know exactly what it is that you need to have it so that you can be comfortable and then make sure that you investigate or um, check everything. Do a thorough check before you leave the dealer. If you're buying it from a private person and you're buying it really cheap, that's different. But if you're buying it from a dealer, a high blue book price, you need to have everything that you need in that van. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will do so and please hit like and uh, share and leave me a comment. And until then, my friends, I love you and may the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on your solar panels. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye.